my story started when my biological mother, who became pregnant with me while she was in college in Hawaii, was brave enough to make the decision to continue with her pregnancy and give me up for adoption. She decided to go through her pregnancy and stay with her sister in San Francisco, where I was born and then immediately placed in a foster home. After nine weeks, I was adopted by Anthony and Terrico Azevedo, who were wonderful parents, who raised me as a Christian in the Catholic Church as an active participant. I'm starting to shake, I don't to read this. All right. I was less active in my 20s through late 30s, letting the busyness of marriage, raising children and work take priority, not understanding the severe consequences of not placing Christ at the center of my life would bring. I never lost faith in Christ, but I admit that I contained his involvement in my life to become an occasional consultant and clearly remember getting unmistakable direction from him of which I ignored to do things my way. In my early 40s, I met a wonderful Christian woman by the name of Linda Russo, who shared her faith in Christ in a way that I never understood or experienced. Quoting scripture directly from the Bible and explaining how God's word is unfailing, timeless, and our ultimate authority. I will never forget the experience of being allowed to take communion in her church just because I believed in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, sins and all. Since this time, I have experienced Christ's unmistakable grace time and time again. His promises in scripture come to life in ways that I witness every day. I am so thankful for my dear friend, Lisa Miles, for introducing me to Northgate three years ago and for sharing our faith journey together, and all of my sisters in Christ, some of who are here today. Thank you for being here. And to you, Pastor Ken, for your encouragement and teaching. Thank you for that powerful testimony, just sharing just your journey with uh, us and just how um, God has just made uh, an incredible impact on who you are and who you're going to be and following in the steps. So you've just told us all your story and just how loud just to tell us again that you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Yeah. I do. Yeah, and then you intend to follow him in this act of baptism and things that you do for the same Lord. I do. Absolutely. Cool. Well, may I have the privilege of baptizing you. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen! Yeah. And then also uh, getting baptized this afternoon is Leo, Leo Renholm. 